Yo, 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 what's the deal? What's the deal? Got the mic out for this one. It's your boy, who is Hendo, and we back talking sports. So, we got something good for y'all. So, I grew up. I watched baseball in the 2000s. Uh, Jason Giambi. Uh, I used to like home run hitters. That's why I watched baseball. Home run hitters. And I love to see, uh, um, what is it? I love to see no hitters. So, Roger Clemens, uh, Barry Bonds, Jason Giambi, Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire, um, so on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? Um, of course, uh, the Orioles' best player of all time, Kyle Ripken. Kyle Ripken Jr. Um, but Barry Bonds is my favorite player to watch. And I still don't believe he was on you-know-what, but that is what it is. But we have some damaging or some explanations about EPO, which I've been hearing about, you know what I'm saying, uh, it's a former PED that can be, uh, apparently, from what I had read about it years ago, it can be detected. But this is one of the former Balco owners. Basically, I skipped past so you can just hear what he was saying. Shout out to the boy Too Raw for this video, though. Um, I want y'all to actually hear him explaining what EPO is and the, you know what I'm saying, the uh, upside to it and the downside and how it helps you, how it helps your performance. And this has been the thing, this has been the alleged, all of this is alleged, the alleged PED that LeBron is linked to, you know what I'm saying, so, hush. something we can understand how this EPO works. Okay, EPO is called erythropoietin is the technical name. And what EPO does what is it? erythropoietin is the technical name. Erythropoietin. So, keep that in mind. And what EPO does is it stimulates the production of red blood cells. So imagine on a red blood cell it's like, a, it's like a little bus that has seats on it. There's an area on the, each red blood cell called the hemoglobin. And this is where the oxygen molecules and nutrients attach them themselves. So each time you take a breath, uh, these nutrients and oxygen gets transported down to your legs and into the muscle tissue. It's a two-way street. Once they're there, they're, imagine they're like turned into little dump trucks. And then they pick up what they call the metabolic waste byproducts, lactic acid, ammonia, carbon dioxide. Now, I don't expect me or anybody else okay. to retain so, all this so information. I just want y'all to hear a little bit of it. the removal of the collective fatigue acids. So, a description of what this does of the collective. So, it's delivering more oxygen and accelerating the removal of the collective fatigue acids. Mmm. So you're gaining more oxygen, but it's kind of getting rid of your fatigue. Hmm. So you have more energy, more oxygen, you know what I'm saying, but less fatigue. Hmm. I'm not saying this guy is on it. And he might not even be the only one. <clears throat> but... His longevity is unmatched. But. It does seem to raise a question, bro. You still jumping as high as this. You still, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Running almost just as fast. And you're not getting, you know what I'm saying? Any, what, fatigue or anything like that? 
or maybe he is, and we just and LeBron James is just that superior of an athlete. Which one y'all think? The description of what this does is it makes you like a machine. You simply do not get tired. Okay, you can go again and again and again. Your recovery is phenomenal. See? Now, when they raided Balco, they were in shock. The the anti the anti doping uh, people because they saw that I was giving EPO to 60 meter world champions, 100 meter Olympic gold medalists, and they said, wait a second, we're not even testing anybody for EPO that's less than a marathon or, or a 10,000 meter or 20,000 meters because those events last a couple hours. Why would he possibly be giving EPO to a 60 meter sprinter where the race lasts seven seconds and 100 meters maybe nine, ten seconds? Well, it's a training drug. Okay, so how long do you train? You train two, three hours a day. So the, the more intense and the greater the number of repetitions over a period of time enhances your performance tremendously when you step up and run that seven second race over 60 meters. So EPO is, is I would say, it's the single most powerful drug for performance enhancement that exists. More so than growth hormone, more so than the testosterone, more so than any of the anabolic steroids. EPO is the king. Is there a downside to EPO? That sounds very healthy. That sounds well, like something well, of course, every man course there's want. A, Of course there's a downside. There, there's prevalent use of EPO in the Tour de France with the cyclists. Okay? However, so this means everybody, a lot of people is using it. Or were using it. Now you hear that. So you one second man, it's my damn cat. Sorry about that. But yeah, this means that everybody is using it. I ain't just ain't just a uh, video about Brian, but this had this has been something Brian has been linked to, and it's obvious that you know what I'm saying he's saying that they really not t they don't really test for it. That does is your your blood could clot, you could have a stroke, and you could die, and there's probably been more than see your blood could clot, you could have a stroke, and you can die off of this shit. So. With that being said, I don't know if LeBron that dumb to really do that, bro. Or maybe he is that shrewd of an operator because he know they ain't going to really be testing him for it. I don't really know if he on it. I'm just talking about it for content and to ask questions. Like, what do y'all think? You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I promise. I hope nothing ever comes out about him using PEDs. Or EP, you know what I'm saying, EPO or anything like that. Because that would destroy his whole career. You know what I'm saying? I hope he's just that phenomenal taking care of his body that he's just had the, the greatest longevity basically ever. Because even Tom Brady at the end, <clears throat> well, you know what? Nope, can't say that because Tom Brady won a championship. And he was about 44, 45. Wow. Well, that was a former Balco owner basically explaining EPO and the upside and the downside of it. This is not a LeBron James video. This is just about the performance enhancing drug and everything. And basically, but how he's explaining it is the exact thing that's going on with LeBron. He seems to still have his wind still have oxygen to you know what I'm saying run up and down the court you know what I'm saying do high level dunks jump extra high still almost probably not as high as he used to but almost 
you know what I'm saying? And it's just It just, it seems to me, and then you got KG saying stuff like that. You got Kale Sonnen over here saying they got the same dealer and that he's using it. And I also heard him say that it um they're not going to test him for it or it can't be detected. I also heard Kale Sonnen say that too. This is just, you know what I'm saying? It's just very eyebrow raising. And LeBron's silence with this is very eyebrow raising because you have one person who basically seeing your own performance enhancing drugs. He's basically saying that both of y'all use the same dealer on performance enhancing drugs, that you're using it, they're not testing you, and you don't come out and say anything, or you don't come out with a lawsuit, you don't come out with nothing, you just let this be said. That's defamation of character. That's defamation of character. Then you got KG on the same thing. He on that new Balco. That new juice. I mean, come on, Bron. At some point in time, you got to be like, alright, bro. Y'all playing with my name, bro. I ain't never used EPO. I ain't never used no performance enhancing drug. You know what I'm saying? Or you just come out, hey, I'm I'm, I'm getting a lawsuit against Chell Sonnen and KG. But you didn't do none of that. So that's why everybody is wondering, like, whoa, why you ain't saying nothing back? Because you respond to a lot of other stuff. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, man, y'all just keep talking about, we going to keep talking about this until he say something or until, you know what I'm saying? Until something is done. So this has been Who is Hendo with another video, man. We just want to know what's up. This is, you know what I'm saying, the former Balco owner basically explaining EPO and the upside and the downside to it. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Like, share, subscribe. Please share these content. Please share this content, bro. I'm trying to get to 2,000 subs, man. On the way, but kind of been slowing down. I've been giving out great content, I believe. Share the video for me, man. I appreciate it. I'm out. Peace.